Okay, we have two more triangle problems using either law of sines and cosines. So this next one, this is information you were given for problem five. Let me label these. So they gave you this side here. It's across from angle A. So this is side A. Six is across from angle C. So C is six and this is angle B. So we are trying to determine angle C, angle A, and side B. Now if you look here, we have an angle and two sides, but I call this non-matching because side A Angle B, side C. None of those letters match. For angle, side, side, non-matching, the only thing that will work is law of cosines. Now, I'm, we're going to look at the formula sheet in a minute, but I need to use the law of cosines that involves knowing angle B. There are three law of cosines, but the one that involves angle B is this middle one. So this is the one I'm going to use. And by using this, we're going to be able to find the length of side B. So I know everything over here. I know side A, I know side C, I know angle B. So I can just fill in all the numbers. Side A is 4, 4 squared. Side C is 6, 6 squared. Minus 2 times 4 times 6 times the cosine of 40 degrees. Now be careful now. You've got to do this calculation correctly. Safest thing to do is let's just go ahead and do this calculation right here. And when you do it on your calculator, I'm going to save it to four de decimal places. So four squared is 16, six squared is 36. So now you can combine these and that equals 15.229. So I used my calculator earlier for these just to save time. So now, if I take the square root of both sides, I end up with 3.90. And in the instructions, they said round the side to two decimal places. So now, so what do we do next? We need to find either angle A or angle C. Well, you know what? I know all three sides of the triangle now. A is 4, C is 6, B is 3.9. If I look at my law of cosines, either cosine A or cosine C, I can now choose to find either one of those. Let's just go ahead and find angle A. So I'll use this law of cosines where A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times the cosine of A. I know everything in here but this angle A. So I'm going to use this equation to find angle A. So A, side A is 4. Side B we just found to be 3.9. Side C is 6. 2 times B times C C and once again you have to be careful to do this math correctly just to be safe let's just square all these numbers and see what we get so this is 16 3.9 squared is 15.21 6 squared is 36. So let's multiply these three numbers together. 2 times 3.9 is 
times 6 equals 46.8. Now to do this math correctly, I want to solve for cosine of A. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add these two numbers together and then subtract them to move them to the other side. So 15.21 plus 36 equals 51.21. I'm actually going to subtract it. I'm going to move it to the other side and that's going to equal negative 46.8 cosine of A. So if I do this subtraction here, it's negative 35.21. So now to get cosine of A, to solve for cosine of A, divide both sides by negative 46.8. So when you do that, end up with 0.7523. So now angle A will be the inverse cosine of 0.7523, which is 41.2 degrees. So we just found angle A to be 41.2 degrees. Now, to get angle C, since I know angle A and angle B, I can simply say angle C is going to be 180 degrees minus angle A, 41.2 degrees minus angle B, 40 degrees. So 180 minus 41.2 minus 40, 98.8. So that should be angle C. All right, so that's a problem we had to solve using law of cosines. Now the last problem Problem six, they gave you another triangle. And you notice what they give you are the three sides of the triangle. This is side A, it's opposite angle A. This is side C, and this is side B. Whenever you're given three sides of a triangle, you have to use the law of cosines to figure out, to start figuring out the angles. So we'll just do angle A first. So a squared equals b squared. So this is from the formula sheet. It's just I've done this enough. I sort of have it memorized. I know everything in here but angle a. So I can plug everything in and then find angle a. So a is 4. b is 2. c is 5. 2 times 2 times 5 times cosine of A. Now just like when students miss this problem, a lot of times they don't do the calculation correctly. So let's be careful. 16 equals 4 plus 25. 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20, negative 20 cosine of A. So this is 29, but I have to subtract it to move it to the other side. So this is like negative 13 equals negative 20 times the cosine of A. Cosine of A is going to be 13 divided by 20. 0 0.65. So A is the inverse cosine of 0 0.65, and that would be rounded to one decimal place, 49.5. 
Now, let's go on to find angle B next. I now I'm going to use the law of cosines for angle B, which is this second one here. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did, except I'm going to find angle B. So it's B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times the cosine of angle B. So B is 2. Side A is 4. Side C is 5. 2 times 4 times 5. times cosine of B. Now be careful with your math again. So this is 4 equals 16 plus 25. 20, this is minus 40 cosine of B. 16 plus 25 is 41. I'm going to subtract. I think I can do that in my head. You end up with So now you have divide both sides by negative 40. So 37 divided by 40.925. So B equals the inverse cosine of 0.925, which is 22.3 degrees. So B is 22.3 degrees. Now for angle C, I can simply take the fact that these three angles have to equal 180. So for angle C, I'll take 180 minus angle A, 49.5 minus angle B, 22.3. So 180 minus 49.5 minus 22.3, 108.2 degrees. All right. Law of sines and cosines, a way to work on these triangles.